Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're giving you our list of 10 things to know before playing Hitman 3. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The latest entry in IO Interactive's long-running franchise is finally upon us, and there are a number of tidbits both veteran players and newcomers should know. Will you be picking up the game? Let us know what you're looking forward to in the comments below. More of the same. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. If you played the previous two Hitman games, you won't find much of a difference in Hitman 3's formula. It's the same as before. Infiltrate a massive area and figure out how you are going to eliminate your target. You'll have a wide selection of methods to execute, but some may have to be accomplished under tighter windows. You'll always have the option to revisit locations to try your hand at another method if it interests you. This formula is what made the previous games so highly acclaimed, and hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Locations. Any one of them could be the killer. One of the most appealing features of the Hitman games are the marvelous locations that each game has included. From snowy mountains and warm suburbs to historic castles and palaces, the series has made every location feel incredibly distinct. Hitman 3 will boast its own selection of landmarks, such as a colossal tower in Dubai, an eerie mansion in the United Kingdom's Britmore, and the neon lit city of Chongqing. Don't hesitate to take in the views before you go about your assassinations. Who knows, maybe we'll even get a photo mode post-launch. Elusive targets. Your target is Father Adolfo Candelaria, a Catholic cardinal. Elusive targets is one of the few game modes making their triumphant return to Hitman 3. This is a limited time mode where players must locate a hidden target in one of the levels and must eliminate them with very little help from the HUD. Previous elusive targets have included Sean Bean as Mark Faba, aka The Undying, and even Gary Busey for… reasons. Players can expect IO Interactive to include yet another colorful cast of enemies for us to hunt down, but the formula will be slightly altered. Whether that's to make things easier or harder remains to be seen at the time of recording this. I know all the tricks. They think they're clever, but they're nothing on me. I even managed to make him think I'd been blown up. Contracts mode. There's been a death at Thornbridge Manor. Contracts mode is yet another game mode coming back, and honestly, we couldn't imagine a Hitman game without it. In contracts mode, players can create their own scenarios, choosing what targets must be eliminated with what weapon. You get the idea. It's a customizable game mode that adds more replayability. Experiment with different conditions and share your contract to challenge friends and other players. And if you make something really unique, IO Interactive may share your creation under the mode's featured page. This was an excellent way to keep players returning to Hitman 2, so it's great to see such a flexible feature returning. Look towards the future. Escalations. The world of assassination is on the brink. All because of one man. If you want something to push your limits and put your skills to the test, you'll find solace in yet another returning game mode, Escalations. The way Escalation works is that you'll have a contract to complete through multiple stages, and upon completion of each stage, the contract tacks on another condition to your mission. Eliminate a target, and you may have to take on the next one with a specific weapon or without the use of a disguise. Needless to say, Escalations will keep you on your toes, and may force you to improvise and rethink your plan. Hacking the lock with his new camera, or just using good old-fashioned brute force. Ghost Mode Gone Have you ever wondered what it would be like to face off against another assassin? Hitman 2 implemented a unique, more competitive multiplayer mode known as Ghost Mode. Here, two players participate in the same mission and race to complete the contract first. The mode had its fair share of problems, but it was still a decent idea to attempt. Those who enjoyed Ghost Mode will be sad to know that the mode will not be coming back for Hitman 3, and servers have already been shut down as of August 31st, 2020. However, the Phantom Suit will be included in Hitman 3. So, if you wanted something snazzy but couldn't go through 100 plus matches of Ghost Mode, you'll be able to don it with no restrictions. In Ghost Mode, you exist in separate realities. Sniper Assassin. And finally learned the names of its three partners. 
in their downfall. We lay the past to rest. Sniper Assassin returns with a different focus than when it was previously introduced in Hitman 2. In Sniper Assassin, you'll have to snipe multiple foes without setting off alarms or raising suspicion. This was a mode you could play solo or cooperatively in Hitman 2, but that will no longer be the case in Hitman 3. IO Interactive has chosen to focus Sniper Assassin more on the single player and will not be including co-op. IO plans to rework the multiplayer trophies to reflect this change as they begin shutting down more of Hitman 2 servers. Your targets are some of the best protected people in the world. A remarkable launch. 47's arsenal has never been sharper. From the classics to the state of the art. This launch has become incredibly important for IO Interactive in a couple of ways. For starters, Hitman 3 marks the end of the World of Assassination trilogy in the Hitman franchise. On top of that, this will be the first game where IO Interactive will be publishing their own game. In addition to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X slash S, PC, and Stadia, Hitman will be making its debut on Switch at a later date, though it will be through cloud streaming technology. However, this also marks the first time in nearly 20 years that the franchise launched on a Nintendo console, the first one being Hitman 2 Silent Assassin on GameCube in 2003. VR Support What is arguably the most surprising feature of Hitman 3 is the inclusion of VR support. For the first time ever, Hitman 3 will allow players to immerse themselves in the role of Agent 47 through the power of PlayStation VR. Not only that, but VR support will also be integrated into maps from Hitman and Hitman 2, adding yet another layer of replayability to these games. Actually, the last tidbit conventionally blends into our final entry, and it is perhaps the most significant component to Hitman 3's launch. Might want to sit down for this one. A game and a platform. Refine your approach as you advance across 20 mastery tiers per level, with new starting locations, new ICA gear, exotic distractions, and stashed weapons. Hitman 3 isn't just the launch of another sequel in an extensive franchise. Much like how Hitman 2 implemented content from the 2016 reboot under its new engine, IO Interactive is turning Hitman 3 into a massive platform. Owners of the first two games will be able to import all maps and progression into Hitman 3, bringing the entire trilogy under one universal umbrella. And just to sweeten the deal, IO has announced that those who purchase the game on PS4 or Xbox One will be able to access a next-gen upgrade at no extra cost. Needless to say, it's looking like Hitman 3 is going to be an incredible celebration of IO and the community's journey through this fantastic trilogy. January 20th can't come soon enough. It's time. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.